Hi, this is Sridhar from wpdevdesign.com. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how we can create this uh, magazine layout type of posts grid using Oxygen and MicroThemer's CSS grid feature. I'm currently editing a static page in Oxygen and I have added a section and inside this section, let us first add a repeater. And uh, let's set this repeater to show five latest posts. So I'm going to go to query and select custom and click on post type, select post and set the count to 5 and click on apply query params okay and uh, by default the repeated component will show the pagination like this and it does not currently have an option to disable this so what we can do is to change the type of query from custom to manual and add a parameter called no found rows set it to true to um, not show the pagination let's first set the posts per page to 5 and I'm going to set no found rows to true apply so that will basically uh, show the five latest posts and fetch exactly that number five from the database, not anything beyond that. All right, so I'm gonna click on this uh, div, which is inside the repeater and let us set some padding of say 40 pixels all around and I'm going to set the color of the text to white okay and let us set the background color or oh, sorry background image of this div uh, so let's go to advanced background and background image I'm gonna click on data and select this featured image and for the size let's go with medium large and I want this to be a cover so that it covers the entire um, div and I do not want the background to repeat so no repeat and for setting the uh, centering I'm gonna set left to 50% and top to 50% okay let's go to advanced and set a minimum height of say 300 pixels so we can actually see this uh, div and inside this div let us add this particular uh, div and uh, this is going to contain the uh, categories and the titles of the posts so click on add a div and inside this I will go to WordPress dynamic data and categories and next we'll add the post title let's change the font size to say 20 pixels and we can perhaps reduce the font weight and uh, add some margin at the top like that maybe 10 okay and uh, I would like to link these uh, these post titles to the corresponding permalinks so let's click on this button and in, we can cancel this dialog click on data and click on permalink and I can change the 
text color of this by going to typography and selecting some light color like that okay so let us now see if it is possible for us to change the uh, color of these categories um, so we have a text and we have span I don't think it is actually possible but let's just give it a try I'm gonna select the light color no that's not doing anything let's select the span and try this is also not doing anything so we'll just do this later using micro themer okay and um, for this div which is the repeating div let us set the vertical item alignment to bottom so that we can see this image at the top and let us set a background color that is close to black that is actually black but with a 50% transparency and um, let us add some padding oh okay I think I made a mistake I actually wanted to set this background color to this div okay which has the uh, our post information so that's where I wanted to set and let's set the padding of uh, say 20 pixels all around and the width to 100% like that All right. Okay, so now it is time to launch Micro Themer into action. So I'm going to click on this Micro Themer. All right, so what we need to do is to first create a selector, which is the parent or the container of these individual repeating divs. So I'm going to click on this target button and see if I can select okay so if I click there um, right now what is selected is the CT section in a wrap that's not what I want okay so this is the one that we're looking for um, dynamic list 2252 and this is the parent container that contains the individual repeating divs so I can uh, change the label to say something like uh, blog post grid container and click on create selector and I think by default you will be in this text mode so you click on this button to go to grid and we need to decide on how many columns and how many rows uh, we, we need so here if you see we have got um, one two three but then this one is actually uh, spanning two columns so in reality we have or we need one two three and four columns and two rows so four columns and two rows okay as soon as you draw the grid like this you can see the items being arranged in that fashion um, so I can now start clicking on these numbers and arranging them in the order that I want them to be right so three goes there two goes there okay and you select one and hold it at the corner and drag and so you have this first post taking up this entire uh, grid cell 
and second is here, third is here, fourth is there, and fifth is there. Okay, so let us set a column gap of four pixels and also a row gap so we can see these things um, more clearly. Okay, let's go to the front end and I just noticed that uh, these blocks or boxes, they looked elongated or stretched vertically. So if I inspect any of these boxes, you can see that it has a width of 267 and the height is 300. So we can go back and change this minimum height to 267 and uh, it should then appear as a square. So for this repeating div, change this minimum height to 267. Okay, that looks better. So let's get inside MicroThemer again. Okay, so we have, um, oh, and I see that um, these post titles have been uh, centered. So let's go back and click on this link wrapper and go to advanced typography. And you can see that it is somehow set to centered. So let's uh, select left, save that, refresh. Okay, and I would like to change the color of these uh, category links to something lighter. So I, for that, I need to create a new selector. So let's click on this button and here, So none of these, well, maybe this one actually, but it's too generic. So what I'm trying to see is to find if there is a selector that identifies these all these um, category links only and not the post titles. So actually none, none, none of these matches what I want. So I'm just going to go to oxygen and select this text element and give it a class of say post category. Okay, save it and just refresh and click on this button and click here. Okay, I do not, uh, yeah, post category is there. So, right, so if I click on this uh, arrow, I can see this post category appearing here. So I can select that and post category link, that's fine. Click on create a selector. And now I can go back to this option and change the color to something lighter like that. You can also probably reduce the font size to 14 pixels and change the line height of the post title heading. Oh, by the way, we should change these to like say H3 or H4. And uh, let's go to typography and change the line height to say 1.2, save it. Come here and refresh. Okay, that's looking better. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is uh, doing the responsive adjustments. And if you click on this button that says edit media queries, you can see that I have already added the media queries um, that are inside oxygen. By default, MicroThemer comes with one, two, three, the top four queries, and I have added these. 
so <clears throat> if you see 1120 and below you can see it says media max width 1120 so that means this all devices will be uh, 1121 and above and that's what I have set it to min width 1121 and similarly less than 992 it's uh, max width 991 that says 991 and below and these values you can get from here all right so once you do that um, at all devices it looks okay actually hang on. I don't think I need those maybe I can just remove those hmm date oh. yes okay hide it yeah hide this hide this and update okay so 1120 and below it looks fine less than 992 it looks okay less than 768 pixels so i would like this to be uh, appearing horizontally so let's select the correct selector which is this blog post grid container and go to the grid option okay first of all let me just get this entire interface to the left so i can go here and say um talk all options left and um, here what i would like to do is to have the top post at the top and uh, these posts below so what we can do is to simply move this over here move the third one here the fourth one there and the fifth one over there oh not that one i actually meant fifth one there you go and we can reduce the number of columns okay that looks good <clears throat> 